I hope you have an amazing day, my friend. Today I'm painting these beautiful magnolias. Starting by drawing some simple shapes to define the size and placement of the magnolias and then adding these vertical lines inside of the circles to define the direction of the flowers. Before I continue with painting, I clean up the sketch using a kneaded eraser to remove the excess graphite. And what I love about this product is that it doesn't leave any residue. Now for painting the petals, I want to create a soft gradient. So I apply more pigment to the bottom, clean up my brush and spread the paint to the top. And as uh, the petal is still a bit wet or damp, I draw in these veins. And this way I avoid getting these super sharp lines, which I want to avoid at this stage. Also, very important to let um, each petal dry before you continue with the next one. To create highlights, you can also use this lifting up technique. Just clean up your brush. I'm using a synthetic one. And press it down on the paper, lift up the paint and uh, clean the brush with the paper towel every time. To paint the second flower, I used a slightly different technique where I used a clean wet brush to wet the petal first and then apply the paint and spread it. And this was the first time I was painting the magnolias and 
I wanted to at the same time experiment with techniques and I thought maybe it would be interesting to you to see that process too. And I think I um, prefer this method more compared to the first one where I added the paint and then spread it. Um, so next time I will go for this way of painting in. At this point, I wanted to stylize the painting a bit and experimented with this wet and dry technique and created these marks similar to veins um, and shadows. And I think it made the flower look a bit more stylized or abstract. I really like that. Just if you want to apply it, make sure to uh, go very lightly um, and don't ha don't have too much pigment on the brush, so it doesn't become uh, like too sharp or creates too much unnecessary contrast. time to paint in the background and I'm doing something very experimental painting these random blobs or sections of paint started by wetting the paper only some part of it and adding the paint letting it to spread and create this cool watercolory effect then I let each section or each blob to dry um, and then add more on top to create this translucent glassy look. And I'm mostly using Prussian blue with some hints of ultramarine blue to add more vibrancy. And now another very fun technique that I love. Uh, just make sure to put down lots of uh, paint and it should be very fluid so that it easily uh, flows. If you have enjoyed the video so far, please give it a like to support the channel.
now I'm dropping some water while the paint is still slightly uh, damp and to create this blooming effect. And I love adding shiny details to my painting so I'm using some metallic watercolors to add final touches to this painting. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.